All right. Bye, guys. Wait, is going? Yeah. Is Khan? Yeah. Wait, Khan's going? Yeah. <laughs> is Khan in the back? Yeah. They gotta go by the vet's office and then they're going to the store. <laughs> I think George is probably glad to not be in the car with those big goofy dogs. Yeah, but it's Gary. Yep, here comes Gary. Gary has caught something. He's got something in his mouth. He's gonna go investigate Gary's catch. You trying to go too? Yes, but can you come with us? I will. I'm coming. It's early August. Um, we're at the peak of the heat of our summer here in central Arkansas. Yesterday was 100 degrees, and that's like totally normal right now for it to be 100 degrees. However, today, uh, yes. Do you want to come sit on this side? Okay, well, come on. So, 100 degrees is like totally normal for us right now. However, today is gonna be a little bit different. Today is only the high as 85, which is like crazy cool for right now because there's a big storm system coming in. It's supposed to start raining tonight. It's supposed to thunderstorm for the next two days. So that means that on days like this, um, we kind of like scrap other plans for the most part and really focus on the outside tasks that are really hard to do when it's hot, which means today um, we're gonna tear the garden out. Why? I gonna keep the one that are growing good? Yeah, but most of it's not growing good. That is not a bat! Yeah, see look, that plant's not growing look, good. Look, 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 look. Oh yeah, we've got one ready. Yay, come on, let's get it. I'm gonna keep the noodle beans. No. So what's happened here with the noodle beans is we had some that had gotten too big. I let them dry to go to seed. But um, basically we had some that are coming up. So I actually have a lot of young beans I've been picking that are growing here. But if you'll see this, uh, this is bindweed. And it's basically a wild morning glory. And it is very, very, very evasive. And as you can see it growing right all over here. So I'm gonna pick all the good beans and all of this is getting torn out because we need to get this vine weed out of the garden before it sets flowers and scatters even more seeds in the garden. It is so cool and breezy out here right now. It's crazy. Check this out. These are uh, cow peas. Cow peas? Mm-hmm. your name? I cow. love peas. So we'll take these and shuck all of the peas out of them and then we'll cook them really yummy. We've got quite a few of them. This is the Ozark Razorback cow pea. Isn't that pretty? Uh -huh. I get this one. We have a lot of cow peas to pick, all of these. I'm going to go, and going. some of them climbed up here, all up the trellis. These got really tall, but it is interesting to see uh, how they grow on a trellis. I've actually never intentionally grown them on a trellis before. I don't know how much taller than that they get. Over here, the Malabar spinach is having no qualms with the heat whatsoever. Oh, it's looking good. I've only eaten it raw so far. I wanna take it and try cooking it. Another thing we're gonna do, and I don't know if it's gonna be successful, but um, the tomato plants are just largely sick. And the cherries, I may leave for a little while longer. I may pull out the ones that are really, really badly sick. But what I'm gonna do is um, come and pull some suckers which basically I'll just have to find places up towards the top the only issue is is you don't generally want to root suckers from plants that aren't healthy and all of my plants are sick so I don't know if this is gonna work but the general idea is that I'm gonna pull some suckers and I'm gonna root them and see if I can get another tomato harvest for the uh, the fall Last year I tried to do that, but I ended up waiting too long. I left them inside trying to root them too long. But this year I think that I may, I don't know, I might just stick them directly in the ground and see if they take root. And if they fail, they fail. I won't have much time invested in it. I don't know yet exactly what I'm gonna do, but most of these tomato plants are about to come out. There's this like balance this time of year whenever you're transitioning from the summer garden to the fall to kind of decide what is worth 
the space that it's taking. Like for instance, sometimes you might have to make a decision to pull a plant that may produce a little bit more in order to put in a plant that will produce a lot more. It's just such a, a weird little window because basically if you wait too late on planting your fall garden, you miss the opportunity because you're gonna run out of uh, long days, you're gonna run out of the heat to grow things and eventually you're gonna run up against the frost. Basically what I do is I go through, I pull out anything that's sick, anything that's just pretty much done producing that's started going to seed and make those spaces for fall crops. This year, I have a lot of sick plants, obviously, but uh, I, I, I actually am, am thinking I'm gonna pull out a lot of the garden and really try to get something of a blank slate. What will I leave is really gonna be the big question. And that's gonna be flowers. All the flowers that are established and blooming, I'm gonna leave those. And I have quite a few here and there, just throughout the garden. Herbs, like this holy basil, I'll leave this. If I have any pepper plants that are doing well, I'll leave them. If they're struggling at all or they're just really not producing, I'll probably pull them out. What'd you find? A turtle. Cool. Uh, hey, little guy. What, what shall we name Is he it? the one that we caught yesterday? I don't know. Or the one we caught yesterday, you let him out? Yeah, but I think he went over here. So you do think it's the one we caught yesterday? Yeah, where'd you put him? You put him out of the garden? I put him in the woods. Oh, that was nice. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe this is a different turtle. Oh, I see the cover of his nose. It's black and orange. Mm -hmm. Hey, y'all want to come see what Toby found? Mm-hmm. Sounds like it. Oh, what do you turtle, turtle, other turtle. Be nice. Hey, don't hold him upside down. That's not nice. Wait, Wait, I hold him upside down. It's okay. Are y'all going to put him in the woods? Why don't you oversee that? Make sure he gets put off there gently. Thank you. So here, I want you guys to look all the way up here, 12 feet up on the sunflower. Oh goodness, my little spider friend moved and just scared the daylights out of me. Almost ran right into her. She's getting bigger. Y'all see her right there? Hey y'all, we almost ran into the spider right here. <gasps> That's the one we found in Dame Mama. We are still here. Yeah, guys, she's been she's been moving around the garden. Dang, that's a big, guys. We found a spider. That's a big spider, and that's a big web. I love playing. Man, she's huge. Wait, that's a she? Oh yeah, she's massive. Spider I've ever seen. Wait, wait. Well, is what? that? Wait, she she has no. <laughs> <laughs> yes, are you protecting your brother? Is that a poisonous? Yeah, uh, she's, she would hurt if she bit you. She, it wouldn't like, it's, she's called a riding spider. She's definitely a big girl. No, that's her. She moved to the other side. I think that's gotta be the same one. Okay, so what I wanted to show you guys is up on the sunflower, if you notice all the way up at the top, there are Thai soldier beans growing all along the top of the sunflower, but you see it right there? It's like 12 feet tall. It did have a baby on this side. I saw it. I think that's her. I think that's the same spider and she just got bigger. Mom, you know it? really weird. So the turtle that we just found, that's the same turtle. Like, as I put him far away from the garden, and then she moved white, and then the turtle moved white to the gate. So she's trying to come back in the garden? Mm-hmm. Mm. I don't know why. You don't know why she's trying to get back in the garden? Mm -hmm. Wait, is she moving? Yeah, she moved. I like being in the garden. Maybe she just likes it. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's she... lots of food here with all of the spiders and bugs. Like so those Thai soldier beans are definitely not a bush variety uh, because they have grabbed all over that trellis they were next to. They've climbed all the way up the sunflowers. Also, one of the big things that came up at the beginning of this year was the idea that you can't plant beans next to sunflowers, that those are poor companions. And uh, again, those sunflowers are covered in those beans and both of them have grown very prolifically. So I don't, I don't know that that's actually a true thing in all cases at least, maybe in some cases, but not in this case. Okay, so that's called a box turtle. And so we look up what do box turtles eat in the wild, okay? And it says they eat snails, spiders, earthworms, caterpillars, grasshoppers, 
uh, carrion, which is like Wait, what rotting uh, what meat. What turtle did we just find over there? It had a brown shell. And yeah, it was it was a box turtle, is what that is. It's a lot of box turtles. Um, berries, flowers, grass, and fallen fruit. Ah, uh, that's so, I think that's why it's in here. Because so it sounds like the garden would be a great place for a turtle to live. Mm -hmm. So maybe we should invite that turtle back into the garden. Yeah, I'm just gonna get it. That's where it is. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Uh, this, okay, go get her. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of fruit in the beds, but then if we put if we put it in there, I don't know that it'll be able to get out. So just put it back on the Wait, walkways. Are you going to keep that spider or are you going to let the turtle eat it? I don't think the turtle can get to that spider. That spider is all the way up there, and I don't think the turtle's going to be able to reach it. So just, just put the turtle down and say, welcome to the garden, little turtle. I don't want anyone to step on her. Oh, good job. Don't, yeah, okay. Don't put your head in the, spi the spider web. Hey, okay, Kitten George. Hey, handsome man. How are you? Don't let uh, Kitten George know that. Yeah, Kitten George isn't going to mess with that turtle. them to their turtle watching come over here y'all look at this redman super cactus zinnia isn't this absolutely gorgeous that's one one plant from one single seed that's amazing isn't it these flowers are massive they're like hand sized also check out these banana trees they've gotten so big y'all they're still sitting there watching if I ever try to get them to sit this still and quiet, forget about it. But they're literally just sitting there. <laughs> and they have been for like close to 10 minutes, which is like unheard of for three small boys. <laughs> I've been instructed to shh. Head is out, okay. Okay. I brought the chickens a little rotten melon. Get it open for them. Gosh, that smells so sweet. I like to feed my animals the rotten food because they'll plant the seeds for me. In it. Here they come. Just felt the first raindrop. I didn't think we were supposed to get rain until this evening, but I definitely just felt one. Very nearly feels like early fall out here. It's not yet, but you can kind of like feel that coming in the air. I'm gonna go inside. Are you gonna stay out here and watch the turtle? Yeah. It started to rain outside, so I'm going to wait just a little bit to get started on the garden, which means I'm back to plan A for my day, which is uh, these figs. Now, I picked these last week off my sister-in-law's tree, and they've been in the fridge since then. I've got all the stems off of them, and they are going to be uh, turned into jam today. I actually don't have exactly worked out what all I'm gonna do with these. I did find one recipe for a, um, a jam that was fig with balsamic vinegar and thyme, and I thought that sounded really, really good. Uh, the thing that I'm running into is that 
I really don't want to add any sugar. All the recipes that I'm finding for canning have added sugar in them and all the ones that I'm finding that maybe use a little bit of honey um, or no sugar at all are being given as a refrigerator recipe. So I'm still kind of searching if you have anything that you've done as far as putting up figs before would you please link it below and i will link that balsamic thyme recipe that looked really good i just didn't want to make all of these into that i'd like to have something that's a little more versatile but also doesn't have sugar in it because we're trying not to eat a lot of sugar and it may be that i just need to go ahead and and deal with it and put them up and we'll just stretch them out and use them you know occasionally on like special occasion breakfasts and stuff like that but we are really largely cutting processed sugar out of our diet additionally i want to uh say thank you for whoever sent us this bowl off of our wish list this is an ohio stoneware bowl and it's been on my wish list for a little while now i put a few of them on there uh, it totally made my day to get this but it didn't come with a note uh, having our wish list is something that we didn't have for a long time and actually our viewers talked us into it and said no you you know you got to make this we want to be able to bless you and it has been this super sweet thing that i just did not see coming in starting youtube i've shared before that i really relate to like the love language of gifts and so getting these random sweet gifts in the mail uh, just totally I, I, I just can't tell you how much it moves my heart and so this one didn't have a note with it sometimes Amazon does that I don't get the notes I try to respond to everyone that sends a note and say thank you but uh, thank you very much it genuinely moves my heart and in the particular case of this specific bowl um, I don't know Ohio Stoneware is kind of such a, a an iconic thing with homesteading and I'm a little bit of a romantic, I think, whenever I have like things like this, like pieces like this. I imagine my children coming home for Thanksgiving when they're all grown and, you know, seeing me pull out that bowl and think, oh, how many times has mom served us food out of that bowl? And I don't know, that just really moves my heart. Maybe that's me being idealistic or romantic, um, but I think that's okay. So thank you again. And to all of you who have blessed us through our wish list, thank you so much it i just i can't thank you enough and also thank you in advance to anyone who is, gives us some ideas for these figs i've had them in the fridge for almost a week um i picked them off my sister-in-law's tree and now we ate a ton of them fresh and i've made a couple other recipes but i really need to put these up because they are very ripe I don't want them to spoil and I haven't gone and picked more because I didn't want to have even more to deal with without knowing what to do with them but I got to do something today it looks like it may just be one of those days that's just kind of on again off again yucky but at least it's not 100 degrees <laughs> to look on the bright side of things thank you guys for hanging out with us this morning we bless you until next time